Thank you. We are very privileged to have our next three visitors. Of course, I feel that we're very privileged to have all of the speakers we have. But this is an extra special time, I believe. Laverne and I met these gentlemen in Hangzhou, China, and we were taken through their traditional academy. It is a marvelous academy that has a mix of both the Eastern, which we'd all associate with China, and also Western medicine. They have a wonderful clinic. They have up-to-date microscopes. They conduct surgeries there. But they also had some very unique practices, unique in regards to what a lot of us are familiar with. We had an opportunity uh, during our visit to walk in as Master Huang was giving Qigong treatments. That was not set up in advance. They were not expecting us at this particular location. And we saw something that was very different for us. We've seen quite a few interesting therapies and individuals around the world, but this seemed quite unique. We are going to be showing a video uh, in a few moments, and there are going to be film footage that was originally shot in China that we recently received. And two of our masters were in there, and you will notice them. I think if you <clears throat> have just, were just watching the video first, it might seem a little hard to believe. And although you may not know me very well, all I can say is that I was physically there and witnessed almost all of the things that you will see on this video in a few moments. And it was very, very remarkable. Our guests have come a very long way. We have one of our three doctors does speak English. And I have assured them that we are all interested in hearing and we will do our best to make them feel relaxed and listen as best we can because they are doing us a favor by speaking in our native language. There will also be uh, speeches by uh, two of the doctors and Dr. Shin Ming Feng will translate and then at the end of the program there will be physical demonstrations of external Qigong which we will have from a person from the audience who has already been pre-selected. So we will be watching a video hearing some uh, aspects or philosophy of Qigong and then seeing a demonstration. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Shen Ming Feng from Hangzhou, China, and he will introduce the other doctors. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Huang as the deputy director of our academy, Dr. Huang Guanghua, to you. <laughs> he is the uh, chairman of Zhejiang Provincial Medical Qigong Association. He has uh, practiced Qigong for several decades. Yeah. And now, we would like to show you the Qigong video made in China. Okay. Because in the
Our academy is located on the side of this lake. Now the Qigong master on the video is called Dr. Huang Ruishen, a very famous Qigong master in China. He now he just uh, sits in the front table. Now in the treatment of Huang Ruishen. Yeah. Dr. Huan is one of our three doctors from China. Wang Zhe Sheng Xiangsen from the beginning learned Qigong. He has over 10 years of learning and treating diseases. When he was young, about 13 years old, he started to learn Qigong. Uh, up, to, up to now, probably, Fifty years already for the Qigong practice. Now he is giving the patient to a patient. Now he is going to send the external Qi to a patient. This is a Australia patient. He has come to our office. Wang Zhisheng has been treated by him. The very interesting thing is this. This gentleman uh, came from Australia. He didn't believe the Qigong before he came to our academy. But he believed that after he received Dr. Huang's Qigong, he wanted to resist the Qi, but he could not. He now learns the Qigong in his own language. Yeah, now Dr. Huang is demonstrating uh, his own style of Qigong. It's called Source of Life Essence Qigong. Wang Zhe Xianxian, he can use the outside treatment. He just keeps on doing this for the past few years. Yeah, why he has so much energy to send the patient? Because he is the consists on the practicing Qigong. His Qigong is more complicated. He is now doing a bit of a simple movement for you to see. His style of Qigong is very complicated, but now he is going to show you the simplified movements of his style. And uh, Dr. Huang is going to give you a lecture on his style of Qigong uh, later on. Uh, Dr. Huang, please come up. Now we have another Dr. Huang, the, the same, but they are not brother, but the family name is the same. This uh, Dr. Huang, uh, now he is practicing the uh, five animal Qigong. Yeah, this, uh, this movement uh, just like a uh, crane, just like the bird. This movement uh, is like uh, apes and monkeys. Yeah. 
this monkey, monkey's appearance. Yeah, this moment uh, is like a tiger. Yeah, this moment is like a bear. This is a, it's like a deer. So now we have uh, five animal movements. Just now, uh, ape and a monk, tiger, crane, bear, and deer. This is a, a stationary qigong. He's going to demonstrate the spontaneous qigong. This means uh, you move the body beyond your consciousness, that you know the movements, but you cannot control your movements. I think it is like a Qigong dancing, not disco dancing, I think. <laughs> his mind is very clear, but he cannot control his movements. It's very comfortable. You can lose your muscle and uh, relax. This is the other guy you know, who practiced the qi, his own style of qigong. Now he also send energy to the, these people. You can see these people the move, the bend their waist.
He lives in our province in China. A war between the Qigong master and the patients. He still can send the energy. So the, the energy can go through the wall, the wall to the to reach the patient body. This is a sitting this is a sitting set. This is a sitting set. This is a sitting set. This is a, another style of qigong, means relaxing qigong. This is a very young man, he has been doing it for 90 years old. This is a emotional, emotional qigong. Okay, then the finish. <clears throat> so now you maybe have a uh, rough idea about uh, Qigong. Somebody can maybe believe that, somebody cannot believe that. Maybe we can talk about that uh, when uh, seminar tomorrow afternoon. Zhu Xi Xiansen. 先生们、女士们，我们三位中国人首次次会议的发起者、组织者，斯文蒂·卢斯先生的邀请，来到这个美丽的城市，和在座的各位一起参加危机之于世界各地卫生疑难问题的讨论会。我们非常高兴。
发掘人的潜力，探索人人体生命奥秘，改造人体人生自身的一种良好的方法和途径。气功 experiments and 气功 clinical practice in China has shown that 气功 has not only the functions of treatment and prevention of diseases and、uh, longevity, but also those of exploiting the intelligence, tapping the potential of the human body. Adi additionally, Ch Chinese Qigong is regarded as a pathway, a new pathway of self-adjustment of the human beings. 我介绍的第一个问题是气功的起源和发展。First point I I'm going to say is about the origin of and the development of qi gong. 据我国古代文献记载，早在元始时候就有气功的名扬。According to the Chinese classics, there there was embryonic qi gong as far back as primitive society in China. 因为我们的祖先和大自然做斗争的实践中，体会到一定的动作、呼吸、发音，均可以调节人体的机能。With the struggling against the nature, Chinese ancestors found that certain movements, breath and sound, could balance some functions of the body. 经过逐渐的积累、总结、不断的提高，形成了气功的名扬。This experience、uh, accumulated and developed, then formed gradually、uh, simple qi gong during、uh, that period during the, the ancient time. 在我国历史上，春秋战国时期是古老文化黄金时代，气功在这个时候呢，也得到各各家各派的重视，得到发展。The spring and autumn and warring states period that about、uh, 770 to 220 BC was a period of the prosperity in Chinese history. 如这个一家、道家、儒家等学派总结了前人练功的这个实践基础，总结了一系列有效的方法。The, for example, the the Chinese Asian the philosophers they like like Taoists and the Confucian and some medical doctors. They created the, the complete set of qi gong exercise. 近几年来，中国的气功进入了科学领域，就是应用科学来研究。气功应用到保健、健身、防病，已经深入人心。呃，学习锻炼气功的已经普及我们全国各地。So in re in the recent years, qi gong exercise and therapy have been introduced into the scientific experiment field and become more popular in the daily life of Chinese people. 现在我国的科研、教育、卫生等部门都把气功科学研究作为人体生命科学一项重要内容。The study of qi gong has been already considered as an important, important subject of life in medical and scientific circles. 下面我第二个问题介绍一下气功学的这个概念。The secondly, it's about the definition, definition of qi gong. 这个气功，中国气功学是一门建立在人体生命正体观的基础上，研究其特定的意念指导下，应用意念进行心、心、血的自我调炼，以增强人体的正气，激发或强化人体固有的机能，以达到防病、治病、强身、延年益寿、益智。Chinese qi gong is a science of the adjustment, adjustment of 
the body, the mental activities, breathing, directed by your will, your desire, your will, in order to uh, stimulate the pure qi. You hear the qi, pure qi, and the potential of the body. And then can, treat, can be used to treat illness, build up health, prolong the life, increase intelligence, and tap the potential of the human beings. The theoretical basis of Qigong is from Chinese traditional medicine. For, it, for example, the holistic concept of the body and uh, the correlation between the sky, between the universe and the body. So the method of practicing practicing qigong uh, is that uh, is to adjust your body position and your mental activities and your breathing form. Then three things together. This is uh, the three points of practicing Qigong. Uh, whatever you practice uh, the various kind of Qigong, but the, these three things must be put on the first step. The, me the mechanism of Qigong is uh, to strengthen the pure qi, the pure qi of the body. So you know Chinese medicine, Ch traditional Chinese medicine, the emphasis on this kind of qi, the pure qi, very much. Yeah. Dr. Sun is going to uh, explain more in details about uh, this kind of qi. So this is the aim of practicing qi gong, is to uh, strengthen your pure qi. So just uh, our colleague, Master Huang Qigong Data, he has much pure qi, so he can send qi to you. This is this so what effects on the body Qigong has the, uh, to treat illnesses, building up the health, prolong the life, increasing intelligence, and tapping the potential of the body. This is about the concept of Chinese Qigong. 
the third is about the classification of Chinese Qigong. So you know the because of uh, long history of uh, Qigong and uh, you know in the history there are you know, tremendous kinds of uh, Qigong in China. Uh, about that, uh, it is uh, it has been reported on the medical magazine of China. About uh, four thousand types of qigong has been practiced in China now. Now I want to introduce one kind of qigong, just a general types of qigong. What's what's a motional qigong? We in Chinese we call dong gong. Dong means moving, the moving qigong. Just the you just now you saw, you have seen the video. Just like the Doctor Huang and Doctor Huang to Doctor Huang demonstrated. And now he's going to demonstrate again. This is a moving qigong. 就是他这个动工有一定的这个规这个规律按照这个练功者的呃这个一个套路进行这个练的这个规定的方法所以讲我刚才打的这个五清系是木像这个像一只木一样这个这个五清系是我们古代有传下来的但是五清系的动作比较
，就是呃，等一下这个呃，王瑞春先生介介绍的金元宫当中，他他整个动工进宫这些都有，还有内宫这些都有他的一套比较完整的一套宫法。嗯呃 ，Dr. Huang is going to just talk about Qi Gong that and now the sit in the front table. He is going to the demonstrate the complete set of Qi Gong, including the stationary Qi Gong and the motional Qi Gong and spontaneous Qi Gong. Yeah, this is showing the this motion. There is another one that, at a certain level, can produce a motion of spontaneous Qi Gong, called spontaneous Qi Gong. When you reach the certain level of Qi Gong. Oh, anyway, of gong, yeah, just a certain level of qi gong practice. You will move your body beyond control. Next question, the fourth question, let's talk about the qi gong clinical practice. The fourth thing is about the clinical application and application and the study of qi gong. 气功能防治疾病，特别是对呼吸、消化、神经、运动系统的疾病，某些疾病都有比较细致、显著的疗效。气功 can be applied to treat and prevent diseases. As you know, qi gong therapy is more effective to respiratory and digestive and nerves and motor system. 在我国已经被正式得到证明。最近几年来呢，又有大量的这个临床实践和科学成果，说明这个气功疗法将会在我国临床医学上发挥极大的作用。It has been proved in China that qigong qigong therapy can play a vital role in medicine, in in healthcare through clinical work and scientific research. 我们气功的理论根据从两个方面，从中医理论体系来解释的。The following points shows the the qi gong the the basis theory basis. 气功能够培呃培补正气，达到扶正培本的作用。The first, the qi gong can invigorate the pure qi, then to alleviate The patient's sufferings. Qi gong can reduce yin yang, the balance of the qigong. Qi gong can readjust the balance of yin and yang, just the positive and negative forces in the in the body. Qi gong can reduce the balance of yin and yang, just the positive and negative forces in the in the body. Qi gong can reduce the balance of yin and yang, just the positive and negative forces in the in the body. Qi gong can reduce the balance of yin and yang, just the positive and negative forces in the in the body. Qi gong can reduce the balance of yin and yang, just the To reinforce the life. 那么最近几年，我们用现代医学来研究气功呢，也有很大的增长。And uh, the about the results of modern medical research into qi gong, we have uh, we have had uh, the good results about that. 八十年代初，我国著名的科学家钱学森博士，从系统论的观点出发，提出了气功。功能态的这个概念，就是人体气功的时，练功的时候能振作一个气功态，这个气功状态是远离常态，并具有新的功能的一种优化的这个功能态。那么这种功能态呢，能够对人体各个系统，这个进入一个最佳的状态。In the beginning of 1980, Dr. Chen Xuesen, a distinguished scientist. Of our country, brought on a concept of qigong state. That is, that means that when you practice qigong, you will be under you will be under the qigong condition. The specialty is called optimum state. It is quite different different from the usual state. For example, the nervous system. 因为我们气功是直接以大脑为首首要对象的一种养生、瘦身的一种方法。You know the brain of 
the human body. The brain is a is a object of practicing qigong. So, in this, this from brain, brain to the brain to the brain, this brain to the brain is the most important part. Recently, I have done a lot of work in this area. So, in the in the study of qigong. Uh, first, uh, we use uh, ECG to measure the wave of the of people who practice qigong. This证明，证明这个击鼓证明呢，人体在练功时候，大脑脑电的活动是优于常态的电脑脑电。The result shows that uh, the cerebral electric activity. Of the people who is practicing qigong is much better than the, than the usual people. This means who not who is not practice qigong. 比如讲这个入境的时候，这个阿尔法波波幅明显的增大。For example, when you when you keep quiet, the the alpha the alpha wave of your brain that、uh, arise. 这个另外，我们对消化系统、呼吸系统、循环系统，呃，各个系统的生理生化一些测试都做了一些，对，说明气功对这些系统都有调节的作用。We also have、uh, received the good results from the the breathing system, digestive system, circulation system. These systems、uh, experiment into.、Uh, about uh, the Qigong. Okay.因为这个时间关系，我们最近几年对气功的研究也进行了大量的工作。其实讲对王先生的治疗的一些经验的总结，我们最近也对一个皮革者进行了这个实验。那么这些实验也有时间关系，明天再抽时间介绍。
exercise and skill. So now I'm going to talk about Qi. You know, the Qi is made of three things in, in Chinese medicine. One is uh, congenital qi, second is nutrient qi, and the third one is clean qi. The three things constitute qi. So first I would talk about the physiological functions of qi. So there's five aspects. The one is the qi can promote promote the, and stimulate the functions of organs and the meridians of the body. Also, it can improve the circulation and the production of blood. The second point is qi is a source of body energy. This means uh, the qi can maintain the constant temperature of the body. The normal functions of all organs and tissues and meridians in the body depend on the warming of qi. So third one is the mechanic, me mechanism of the prevention of diseases. It's very complicated. But qi is a very important thing, factor in the, in the prevention of the diseases. So now you know the, this. This is a Chinese tradition. When the the winter coming, winter is coming. The the older people want to get some herbs to strengthen their health, especially in the maybe in the middle of November. That means take some herbs to reinforce their pure qi. That is a, that is a Chinese tradition. So you can ask uh, any Chinese medical doctors. They, in the winter, their clinic is very busy. So many old people come in to get some herbal, herbal formula, special herbal formula, formula for their next year health. So the, the fourth one is the qi can keep blood and body fluid under control. That's why that means uh, avoid uh, the loose of uh, blood and loose of uh, liquid, body liquid. The, the fifth one is uh, the functional activity of qi is, uh, it refers to the metabolism and the transformation of the vital essence. In Chinese we call jing. This means vital, the jing qi, I mean vital essence and the blood and the body liquid. So the second, I will talk about the classification of and the distribution of qi. We have three main kinds of qi. One is the pure qi, just now Dr. Huang mentioned pure qi. This is a very, very important. Where is, uh, where is the pure qi? It is uh, rooted in the kidneys. So I want to uh, make an explanation about uh, the name of organs. We use the kidney, but it's very different from the Western medical term, kidney. It's the Chinese medical term about kidney, about, about the organs, is the wide range of system. So it's quite different from medical term, Western medical term. So it is mainly related to the growth and the development of the body. So when we treat patient, children with the retarded, so we always give some herbs or acupuncture and also treat their kidney. Uh, condition. Second type kind of qi is the pectoral qi. This means chest qi. It's only located 
in the chest. It is uh, composed uh, of the air in inhaled and uh, nutritive qi acquired just from food, yeah, from nutrition. And then two, thing, two materials combine and become the, the chest qi. So it is responsible for the respiration and the circulation of qi and blood. So when you hear somebody the speak the loudly and uh, their voice is very weak, probably it's lack of chest qi. The third one is uh, nutritive uh, qi. This uh, means uh, uh, it's from directly from nutrition. The, it uh, it uh, flows along with the blood vessels. So he uh, it uh, this kind of qi you know, always supplies nutrition to with to the to blood. So. Sorry, I, the fourth, no, we, we have a four, we have four main kind of qi. I missed one. The last kind of qi is the defensive qi. That means defending your body. The wei qi, in Chinese we call wei qi. It uh, originates from, also from uh, nutrition, but uh, it uh, circulates between the skin and the muscle. It's not the in skin, another muscle between them the to the tissues. Usually it, it functions in defending the surface of the body. Uh, this morning I met a, a lady, he he's always uh, suffered from the cold. He said no, this is because maybe the lack of this kind of qi, wei qi. So we have a special uh, formula, herbal formula for this kind of uh, the problem. She is always, it's often, uh, it's uh, very, very uh, uh, sensitive to catch, uh, catch the cold. So I think I maybe taking some herbs for to reinforce the uh, Wei Qi. The third point I would like to uh, talk about uh, the disorders of Qi. Just now I talk about the physiological functions of qi. Now is the pathological condition of qi. First type of in the disorder of qi is the stagnation of qi. That means the qi, the block of qi flow. So uh, we can see in clinic. Some patients have pain here or in the oral body. That means uh, the, his uh, qi flow is blocked. So uh, usually we use uh, some herbs to or qi, or qi gong therapy or acupuncture to the dread the, the meridians to open meridian to get the qi flow freely. The second point is the uh, reverse the flow of qi. You know, the normal flow of qi just, uh, you know, go down or up. If, if the pathological condition of qi take place, that you will see, you know, some belging and the uh, uh, hiccup and the uh, coughing and the uh, uh, headache and the vertigo and the deafness because you know the qi is not uh, does not flow in right direction it's, it's uncorrect direction it maybe go up so the third one is about uh, you know this very common condition what the patient, what the people have, just about the deficiency, just the lack of qi, lack of qi. 
So you will see that maybe over fatigue and uh, long-term illnesses, uh, you will, this patient uh, probably has uh, have uh, this kind of uh, these symptoms like the shortness of breath and the weak wo voice and the lassitude, listlessness, and the weak pulse when you feel his pu their pulses and you feel very weak and uh, sweating on slight exertion and the pale face, and the pale face and the long time coughing and the palpitation the chronic diarrhea and spontaneous sweating. These uh, symptoms uh, are due to the definition of uh, the deficiency of qi. So these three main kinds of uh, disorders of qi uh, is very common in the clinic in our clinic. So uh, this is about uh, the qi theory um, in Chinese medicine. I think uh, uh, now the Dr. Huang will demonstrate how to how to the make qi the flow uh, anywhere through through the uh, all meridians, then the make uh, the good health. Okay. Thank you. Today, ah, this meeting, I feel very happy. Because this meeting, ah, has our Dr. Liu Si Xianxian, Liu Si Tai Tai, to invite me to attend this meeting. Our Dr. Liu Si Xianxian and the ladies. 我再一次表示的心意，向大家感感谢。感谢 means thanks a lot for your coming and thanks a lot for the Miss and Mrs. Law's、uh, invitation. 我们这一次在主要的问题，我们以前王光华先生、同我们孙先生、两位先生。把中国的气功医学和我们中医医学，他都介绍过了。Just now, the Doctor Huang and the Doctor Shen、uh, has given you the general information about the qi gong and about the qi theory of traditional Chinese medicine. 他两位先生很谦虚，王光光先生是我们在家神。气功科学研究会秘书长，他是掌握我们浙江省气功理论、气功医学、气功功法、功理，就是他掌握的。他很谦虚，今天还没有介绍。<笑> so they are very humbled, but they、uh, do not the interest、uh, introduce their themselves because Dr. Huang just now. Dr. Huang is a a general secretary of、uh, secretary of Chinese, China, not Chinese, Zhejiang Provincial Qi Gong Association. Not medical. We have two organizations of the, about of Qi Gong in China, in our province. One is the medical Qi Gong, another is the Qi Gong Research Scientific Research Association. We, Mr. Shen Xiang, is from our Zhejiang State Chinese Medical Institute. He is a Chinese doctor. 他今天也是很气炫，他是研究中医理论，而且呢还是，呃，接那个外派工作，平时还要下去到门诊部的门诊，他的中医的马力很高的。呃、uh, ，Doctor Shen is also the Chinese medical doctor. He is also the the has has done a lot of research about Chinese medicine, and also he uh meet a lot of.、Uh, The foreign peoples who come our academy to visit to see the qi gong and acupuncture. 我今天再主要的介绍一下我们这个真元气功。The main purpose of my talk is about just give you the introduction of、uh, about 
Jing Yuan Qi Gong just uh, I mentioned now, the source of life essence Qi Gong. We Jing Yuan Qi Gong is healing Qi Gong. This kind of Qi Gong is not Kung Fu, you know, not uh, it's used to fighting. This is for the health care. We this Jing Yuan Qi Gong is we. 但是这个经验是我自己斗穿的。This kind of qigong is created by only by me. 我们经验吃功，我们过去在练了，现在我今年是六十二岁了。我们练功一共是练了四十多年了，但是我们有一定的功法道理，有一定的医学道理。you know, uh, I'm uh, 62 years old already this year, but I practiced Qigong uh, for over uh, yeah, 40 year, over 40 years. Now, we will just talk about the new Qigong that we will talk about and talk about and talk about and talk about and talk about. Because of a short time, so I just give you a brief introduction about the, the method of practicing Jing Yuan Qi Gong, practicing my, my style of Qi Gong. We Jing Yuan Qi Gong so the, this kind of Qigong had uh, about uh, 1,480 sets of movements in the past time. Now we just simplify that, maybe now become 24 sets of movements. 我们每次来的话我们思想都有准备我也没有来的话我也知道米国有好多病什么高血压了心脏病了还有呢什么阿兹病了等等的病很多但是我们这二十四种功法当中能够会阿兹病正源气功就是二十四套这二十四套就是什
，没有派，但是我有八个字：我们医生学习加医德，我们练气功的人要加道德，还有四个字：医生就要治病救人。我这个派就是八个字。So the main purpose of my style of qigong is to treat, treat diseases and help people to get good health. <笑>我现在还有好多话想我们大家来说，但是时间的关系，明天还有两个小时，我你们有什么事情问的话，我慢慢的心里面答复。现在谢谢大家。I want to uh, say more about uh, my own style of Qigong, but uh, the time maybe does not allow me to, to say much more. Maybe tomorrow afternoon in seminar, we can talk more about that. So, uh, so I think uh, I will make a demonstration uh, for you, uh, for uh, Maybe. Uh, we have a patient here. She has a knee problem. Knee, two knees, uh, osteoarthritis. She had a uh, had a Qigong treatment last night. Uh, uh, she feels very well today. Now she wants to say a few words about his condition. I feel good today. Uh, I usually have pain, shooting pains in both knees, and I wake up in the morning generally very stiff, and I usually have to hold on to something going up the stairs. And I feel wonderful today. <laughs>
Google.
She cannot uh, put, her, put her hand arms down because she now is is controlled by Dr. Huang. Now Dr. Huang is going to get her arms down. Probably the patient is uh, maybe a nervous, so maybe not relaxed uh, thoroughly. So if he relaxed thoroughly, her arm could be uh, raised uh, higher. Now it's the local chi.
finished. I'm finished an uh, achievement. Our volunteer is the wife of one of our speakers and is facing total joint replacement in both knees. And we met for the first time yesterday and she remarked, gee, with all these doctors gathered here, it'd be nice if we could find something that might be helpful. I know it is very difficult as I started the, uh, their lecture here mentioning the things that you see. We saw many instances of, of this in China. We present this uh, for everybody to form their own opinion, but again, uh, the individual who was here was somebody who did not know this was going to take place. Now I'll give you back to Dr. Shen. Thank 这个母罗还没有带过来，但是有了，我带过来那个数字很少。另外一个问题，我们在中国这开病的话，现在排队排到一九九零年，所以讲，呀，呃，the uh, including motor system, digestive system, uh, nerve system, and some the uh, endocrine problem, yeah, uh, in our clinic. So now um, the patients who visit uh, me in our in my clinic uh, become more and more. So they must uh, get in. Uh, Line, long line. <laughs> so you must uh, and, uh, make a legislation, make a legislation uh, as early as uh, you can. You can, <laughs> you can uh, do that in uh, in the foundation. I think. You may, you, we, I, I came to the clinic. If you have any person who wants to have a baby, I will you come and look at it. So I. Uh, but I don't hope you have any health problem. But uh, you, you have that uh, really. I, I think you are welcome to my room to visit us. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, us. Thank you. Yes. We would just like to give these plaques of participation to our three visitors from China. Uh, Huang Guang Hua, Master. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for Mr. Ross and Mrs. Ross. Uh, Dr. Shenming Fang. Thank you, Steve and Melinda. And now to Master Kuang. <laughs> we wanted to let you know his room will probably be very full. <laughs> I don't think he knows what he's bargaining for. If you would like to purchase the tape that you saw here, this is only about one third of the tape. We have the original footage at the World Research, their videotapes, uh, VCRs. Also, if you would like to register for their intensive seminar tomorrow from 4 to 6 p.m., you can go to the registration desk and you do that this evening and tomorrow morning. So we'd just like to thank you very much. And I guess 
For those of you who will have an evening break, and then there will be the Vibrational Healing Seminar, which still has a few seats for those of you who would like to come this evening. And? and <laughs> next, um, Dr. Alan Kratz is waiting right now in room five for those of you who would like to attend that lecture. I wanted to give you that note. And again, Dr. Gloria Dodd, Bioenergetics and its use in animal therapy is also this, e also this evening. Um, we will be starting again at the, the seminar, rather, will be starting at 6.30 p.m. So those of you who are registered, please be there. How about, can they register still for any, any more seats? And tomorrow morning, <laughs> This is very important. Tomorrow morning, we begin at 8 a.m. Uh, here.